Good morning. How is everybody this morning? Just going to tidy up a couple of things and grab some layers because we're going to need some layers for our cards. So let's see. While everyone is joining, I will usefully use the time to decide that I haven't got what I want. Oh, that would work for one. Possibly. So let me know how you're doing when you jump on. I am here, honest. Yep, it says so. It says so. Right, so I need one of those. And one of... Uh, no, I'm have to cut some. It's fine. I don't mind cutting. Cutting is always good. So, let's... Good morning from a damp and misty Oxfordshire. So, do remember, as you join, to let me know that you're here. Always nice to know that people are with me. Um, I have actually got a cup of coffee this morning. <sighs> I'll wait for a couple more people to join and then I will do some housekeeping. I've got an annoying bit sticking out on my hair. That's better. So we're doing some ink blending today and we're also using bright baubles which is in the mini catalog that is going let me just see if they're still available in the U in europe meant to check forgot it's one of those days hello 15 degrees in kansas now i'm thinking that's fahrenheit and therefore quite cold morning nora i'm guessing that it's cold we do centigrade these days, so um, 15 degrees is, is actually about the temperature of my craft room. Um, so, yes. Uh, no, the bright baubles have now sold out, but you might have them. Yes, it's 15 degrees Fahrenheit. That would be cold. That would be very cold. Um, I have to say, probably about as cold as my hands. I'm going to need my coffee to warm them up. But yes, it's a bit of a grey day here. Um, life in the UK at the moment is a little strange, um, particularly in England. Um, at the moment, because of the pandemic, we actually do seem to split between the four nations, which is so confusing for everyone. Um, so we don't actually know in England and I mean England, what the arrangements are for Christmas yet? Morning, Jan from a Misty Weekly, the other side of the hill. We're not actually misty this morning. We were very misty yesterday. So yes, but we're seeing some friends for a pre-Christmas meal tonight. Um, Hubby and I have both lateral flowed and we're clear. Um, getting hold of lateral flow tests is challenging at the moment, but we've managed to get some. And then we're hopefully spending Christmas with some friends. Um, and again, need lateral flows before that. We're going to test for the two days prior to when we travel down and the day we travel down. Um, so, yes, but it's all a bit weird. So you're on your second cup of hot coffee. Yes, this is only my second cup of coffee. Um, I try not to drink too much coffee in the day. Morning, Wendy. May not be able to watch as your grandkids are invading. Well, that's always good. Right, I am going to flip the camera down. No, I'm not. I'm going to do the housekeeping first, then I'm going to flip the camera down. So, today is Tuesday, the 21st of December. Not long until Christmas. Um, 
And if you are watching me at approximately seven minutes past 11 UK time, then you're probably watching me live. And you'll know that because in the top right hand corner, there will be a red live. Um, if you are if you can't see the red live, you are watching on replay. And therefore, during my live, I do interact. But if you're watching a replay, um, I'm thrilled when you leave comments, but I can't interact because I'm not here if you're watching on a replay. Um, if you don't already subscribe, please consider doing so. Bottom right hand, left hand, right hand corner. Oh, one of these days. Um, so, yes, that corner anyway. Uh, you can subscribe and do remember you can also find me on Instagram, Pinterest and a little bit on Facebook, uh, but mostly on Instagram and Pinterest and you can find links to those from my website which is oldstablescraft.co.uk. I am a stamping up demonstrator based in the UK so I only use stamping up products and I can sell from uh, to France, Germany, Austria and the Netherlands, as well as the UK. So who has joined? Uh, Janice is just clearing, can no, just third coffee for Jan. Carol is joining from Australia. Helen is joining from Michigan. Oh, yes. And all the way through, if you're enjoying what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Right. I'm going to flip the camera down and... I have done a little bit of prep, but only a little bit, because today is mostly about ink blending. And I also wanted to do some heat embossing. So I've prepped the heat embossing and I've also prepped some masks. So we are using a bright baubles, which in Europe is no longer available, I think. Um, but it, this will work with other... Um, stamps as well basically it's it's a technique rather than a specific bright baubles that I'm going to show you um, if you have got this I love it I haven't used it very much I've used the dies a lot um, but I haven't used the stamp set very much uh, but we've got merry and bright to you and yours so much Christmas wishing you a joy and sending as well as a two from a bow and some little sprinkles which are always useful so what I have done so far is I have stamped and heat embossed um, the round bauble, which are heat embossed in silver, and the not round bauble, I have heat embossed in copper. And I have overlaid a mask, uh, which I've just cut from like post-it note paper. Um, sorry, my craft room is so cold. I have a slightly runny nose. Also, the fact that I'm spending most of my life with effectively a Q-tip up my nose so we can lateral flow from here to eternity. Um, my nose is a little runny. So anyway, so yes, so I have added a mask and I will be using the other bit of the mask later on. But I want to start by adding colour to my baubles. And I'm going to be doing light baubles and dark backgrounds. So this is just basic white. I've cut it to the size of my normal first layer. I'll probably trim it down. This I'm going to do in shades of blue. So I have pulled out, I say blue, Highland Heather, not actually blue, Balmy Blue, Misty Moonlight and Knight of Navy. Those two I'm going to be using on the background. These two I'm going to be using on the bauble. So I'm going to start with hmm, actually I'm going to start with Highland Heather. I am going to put a glove on because otherwise I'm going to end up with a very 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 dirty left hand um, because I am going to be holding on to things that are inky. I have got a microfiber cloth. I'm not a great fan these days of microfiber cloths but I've got it and I'm working on the premise there is no point in not using something you have already bought because you bought it so just get on with it. I do also have bamboo um, face cloths, which once they are no longer um, nice enough to use on my face, I use in my craft room. But I do in the meantime have my 
uh, bamboo cloth, uh, my microfiber cloth. So I've got my, I label my brushes with a piece of ribbon to denote which colour they are. I will may, I maybe will be bringing in some clean ones as well. But this is Highland Heather. I'm just going to add a very small amount. Um, and I can test that I've got enough on my mask. And I'm going to come in and do the middle with Highland Heather with a sort of brushing but circular motion. So I'm going left to right, right to left, but in a kind of circular motion as well. We need a bit more ink. So who has our blending brushes, or indeed anybody else's blending brushes for that matter? Does anyone use blending brushes? I love them. I was so pleased when we carried them ourselves. I had been using some very cheap and not particularly good makeup brushes and really wasn't successful. So yes, do you have blending brushes? You don't need one for every colour. Um, I would say one per colour family is probably all you need. Right, so that's my central bit with my Highland Heather. I'm now going to bring in Balmy Blue. Now I have deliberately not cut round the loop at the top because that's fresh air. Um, so actually I'm going to bring in a clean brush because that's got Knight of Navy on it and I don't think Knight of Navy, Jan's got them and she loves them. Um, but yeah, I don't think putting Knight of Navy into Balmy Blue is particularly clever. I have to say I haven't cleaned mine. Um, I know people who have. Um, I'm not one of them. I did try cleaning them and I have to say I wasn't high, overly successful. I mean, they cleaned, um, but it took forever to get the ink out. So I'd rather stick with colour families um, and just have a few more. They're not expensive because they are going to last you a long time if you look after them. If you don't look after them, then they're going to be expensive because they will not last you very long. So what's interesting with Balmy Blue, and I think um, a lot of us are similar when it comes to this, I, th I always think of Balmy Blue as being a really pale blue, which it is until you layer it up. got a hair on my ink pad. Don't want a hair on my ink pad. Oh, vague connection of ideas. Uh, those of you who are following Peppergate, um, as in Pepper and his yeah um he's back on his meds because he has to do meds off meds back on meds so he does three rounds um hates it i hate giving it to him it's a really sticky gluggy liquid which he has to have on an empty stomach so he can't even hide it in food um and he's now got used to the fact that when i take a piece of kitchen roll and that noise of kitchen roll um it must mean that i'm about to give him his glug how do you store your brushes? Let me show you. I store them in that. So I've got a microfiber cloth in the bottom and I just throw them all into this bin. Um, what you don't want is to do what I've just done there, but it actually brushes out. Ideally, you don't want your brush to be pushing against the edge, but I just hang them on my, I've got Ikea pin boards and it's just an Ikea um, square bucket that I hang over the top. So yeah, nothing. I I would kind of like something a little more stylish, but I don't have that for two reasons. A, I think it would take more room. Um, and whereas having something hanging off, hanging off the wall is super easy. Um, and also I haven't found anything that works. So yeah, I just hang them, hang them in a bucket. Right, I think that is all I need to do on that. I am going to take my microfiber cloth and just, with a cleanish bit, just brush over the top to get any ink off the embossing. 
and then I will do the reveal and we'll do the negative. So this is the positive and reveal. That is what we've just done. So we've got nice crisp edges. I cut slightly outside the line. So let me show you. Um, so I've cut very slightly outside the line. Now I'm going to put this over the top. And there is this piece which I will cover up. Um, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in a moment because we don't really want that to pull up. So that goes over the top. Just make sure it's well pressed down. This I can use again and again. Um, so long as I use the same colours or things that are darker, that will be fine. Um, I wouldn't use uh, petal pink or so saffron probably with that because it will bring in the other colours. Time for a quick slug of coffee before it gets cold. So I pierced the middle and cut out. So I need to make sure that that all stays in place. Um, while I'm using it as a mask. So a piece of very retired washi tape will do very nicely for that. So I'm just going to add just make sure you don't go over the edge of your um, mask because it will show. So that's the inside done let's do the outside I'm thinking misty moonlight and then light of navy so I'm going to use the same brush for both um, and I'm gonna just give up with keeping my background clean because it won't so this is misty moonlight and I'm gonna start in the middle and come out I'm not necessarily going to go terribly dark, but I want it to be obvious that there's a contrast between, just want to make sure that stays in place. Um, add another piece of washi tape just in case. So that's over that cut line. A little bit of first aid. Get rid of that. Ooh, nearly put the scrap of washi tape into my coffee, which would not do either the washi tape or my coffee any good. Hello, Jan from Florida. I finally put my Christmas tree up last night. Well, no, actually, that's not strictly true. The Christmas tree has been up for a couple of days. Um, I just hadn't got round to decorating it. Um, we are not having a real Christmas tree this year. Uh, we were going to and then we decided we wouldn't. I don't know why. Too much hassle, I think. Um, so we already had an imitation Christmas tree. So we're using our imitation Christmas tree. Um, hadn't realised how much of a fiddle it is to put my imitation Christmas tree up because each branch is separate and has to be inserted and manipulated so that it looks like a tree um, but uh, it is up I will be posting pictures of it on my Instagram account later in the week possibly later today um, I've already posted a picture of my favorite bauble so so yes if you want to see more about me um, as opposed to stamping up then Instagram is the best place to go. Uh, Pinterest is almost exclusively stamping up as far as I'm concerned. And then um, Instagram is more about me with a mix of me and stamping up because that's what I do. So it's logical that I have some stamping up alongside me. So that's the Misty Moonlight done. Come in with Knight of Navy. It's just now Knight of Navy has red in it uh, and I know I say this often uh, Knight of Navy will stain your clear stamps very nicely uh, because it does have red in it uh, so 
just be aware of that. So if you see it coming on as a sort of mauve, that'll be why. Now, I have heard say that to get a good blend, you should actually hold the end and just do it more. I don't have time for that. Um, it's a bit like under the heading of watching paint dry. So I am, I think, I'm sure you get a much nicer blend, but um, sorry, I have a bit of a life. It would be nice to uh, make the most of some of it. So who has already got their Christmas tree up? Um, for me, it's actually up early. I habitually put my Christmas tree up on Christmas Eve. It's how we were brought, brought up. Um, I think probably because my father didn't want it up any longer than it had to be. And my mother certainly didn't. Because back in the day, we all had those lovely Christmas trees that dropped needles everywhere, even if you kept them watered. And as kids, we used to have, we lived in a house that had at one point been the home of an artist, as in a painter. Um, and we had a room that was called the studio, because it was. Mine's been up for two weeks. Whoa. So two, oh, two weeks, two and a half weeks. Okay. Um, but yes, it always used to go up. So in the studio, which was a double height room, north facing, so really cold, a great place to be at Christmas. Uh, it had no central heating because the house only had heating in two rooms, my parents' bedroom and the dining room, which we never used. Um, other than that, we used... Um, open fires mostly oh except my brother and I did share an electric heater we just didn't share a bedroom so yeah I remember ice on the inside of the windows I remember getting dressed in bed getting undressed in bed all that lovely stuff so mine's been up since before Thanksgiving okay so that's the end of November wow I'm assuming, Deborah, that you have a fake Christmas tree or one that's actually a real Christmas tree with roots and everything. I'm just putting some more Knight of Navy over the top. Now, it's not going to be not Knight of Navy, Misty Moonlight. Nora's has been up a week because I was you were having visitors. You're icing your cake today. I tend not to make Christmas cake. And actually this year, um, I went to the um, Flower Club Christmas event that we had a couple of weeks ago. And I won, guess the weight of the cake, um, which was five pounds, two ounces. Um, and so Martin and I have a cake. Jan put hers up at the start of December. That's Jan Jones in Weekly, as opposed to Jan in Florida. Um, yeah, as I say, it's it's habit. Um, say we used to, if we had people coming over, so a bit like you, Nora, if we had people coming over, then we'd put it up the weekend before. Um, but otherwise, hubby and I wait until Christmas Eve normally, but we have people coming over tonight. So as I say, we are testing ourselves to the nth degree. So I'm just going to rub that over with my microfiber cloth just to take any loose... Um, ink off and then if I grab my we have our it's not quite as dramatic as I was hoping um, but you get the idea so I might as it takes a while I'll I'll try with the other one to make it more dramatic so I'm going to leave that for the moment and then I'll make up the cards together at the same time so that's that one um, leave that there while I bring in the other bits. So those are the blues and moves. So I'll pop those back in my bucket, get rid of my inks and bring in everything I need for this one. So, and you can, there is actually a very slight white edge there where I've over placed the, um, the mask. So I'll see if I can avoid that this time. So this one again, I've got my mask on. Um, 
so that's all ready to go. I also have a drippy nose still. Oh. I suffer never, I mean, it's nothing to do with COVID. I suffer from, in the winter, having cold sores in my nose, which means they do uh, rather badly in the winter. Um, so yes, it's great fun. So, so saffron. Um, and again, I'm going to go kind of in the middle and then out. Um, I've got so saffron, calypso coral, cinnamon cider and early espresso this time. So, so saffron in the middle. And I want the the stars in the middle to be the darkest. It's going to be harder to do that on the edge here, but we'll give it a go. So I get my sticky paper from Amazon. Um, I've got a six inch wide roll. Haven't, I, I've tried to find it again. Can't even in my old previous orders. I think it's gone. Um, I think it's no longer available from that, um, from that <sighs> seller. That's the word I think I'm trying to think of. So I've got very soft across the middle, um, apart from in the middle of the circles and then I'm going to bring that out. I want this t this whole piece up to where these little dots are. I want to be so saffron. So saffron is one of my favourite colours. Hello Cheryl from Florida. Um, but yes it's one of my favourite colours because you can build up from a really pale yellow and that's that buttery yellow uh, to something much deeper um, and it has got a slightly orange pink tinge to it as opposed to a green tinge I think of daffodil delight as being at the green end of yellow and so saffron at the orange pink end of yellow if that makes sense I'm gonna go slightly over because I do want a blend. I don't want a hard line. So that's what we've got so far. So let's get rid of that. And I'm going to bring in my, it's actually my red brush, but Calypso Coral is so dark that I think that's the right one to use. So Calypso Coral. And... Calypso Coral, for me, is always surprisingly dark. You're being ever so quiet again, and I know what you're going to say. You're going to say that you're enthralled and you're watching, but you are being very quiet. Don't forget, while you're being quiet, do remember to give it a thumbs up. It makes a huge difference. The more interaction, um, the more YouTube loves my channel. And the more YouTube loves my channel, the more it shows it to other people. And the more it shows it to other people, the more viewers I get. And the more viewers I get, the more people subscribe. I'm going to be blatant about it. It really does make a difference. <laughs> So please, 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 likes is good. It's free. So that's um, Calypso Coral. I am going to bring in some more so saffron and then I'm going to do the background. I'm going to do the background slightly differently because I'm going to go dark and then light. Oh, 
Oh, the other thing you can do if you enjoy what you're seeing is share. Sharing is good as well. Um, sorry, I've got a call I need to get rid of. Um, right, so. Very, pr thank you. So there we are. That's, that's what we've got so far. Just going to burnish that a little. Right, so with the negative, positive, whichever you like, um, I'm going to cover that up and try a bit of, a bit of Jersey fluff. I'm going to leave that. I think it's probably my brother, uh, but I'm going to leave it because I'm with you. We do have an answer phone. Right, so again, I've got washi tape. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. So washi tape to cover up the cut. I will just send a very quick message to my brother to tell him that I'm on a YouTube live. Bear with me one moment. If I can get into my... Uh, that one. Just on a YouTube live, I will ring you soon. Right. Okay. So, early espresso. Thought that was your phone. No, it was mine. Um, as I say, I think it was my brother. Um, and I think it was on the premise of um, he tried me. We normally interact through WhatsApp. Um, and I know it was he He tried to get hold of me on WhatsApp. Um, so I think he probably then tried to get hold of me on the phone. So early espresso. So I'm going to go for a very dramatic difference between the bauble and the background and I will bring in a clean brush for my cinnamon cider which I will be using as the other colour but as the first one didn't turn out as dramatic as I wanted it to I'm going to make this one definitely dramatic So this looks like a hot mess at the moment, obviously. Now, um, some of you may be wondering, bearing in mind that I do have the die cuts for these, why I haven't die cut to get the masks. And that's because they're the wrong size. Um, they'll be too big because the die cuts leave a white margin. So that's my early espresso. And I want a clean brush because I don't think early espresso and cinnamon cider are a fantastic mix on my brush. As close as I can. Yes, I can open up my new.
Right, so cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon cider. I'm going to try and avoid the blue area on my desk because I don't want blue on my brown. Oops, that's not, that's what not to do. Scuff the edge of your card, not a great idea. Now, if you don't have um, brushes, you could use sponge daubers, sponge, um, whatever you've got. Um, if you've still got our sponge brayers, you could try using those. Those would actually be quite a quick way of laying down ink. Um, the problem with them, though, is they are linear, which would be fine for the baubles, possibly less so for the background. And I will come back in with my early espresso in a moment. I think that's fine for cinnamon and cinnamon and cider. Now, obviously, the other thing you could use um, on these is blends. Um, they would be really good not if you've got heat embossing particularly because uh, blends will melt your heat embossing a little bit um, so you'd have to reheat your powder um, but it's certainly doable and what you could do if you're very clever is you could stamp do your blending and then re-stamp with Versamark um, and if you leave everything in the um, Stamparatus between stamping and colouring and everything, um, you could stamp over the same area, if that makes sense. And there we go. That's more dramatic. That's more like I was, more like I was. That's bad English. That's more the kind of effect I was looking for. Let's pop this back on and see if I can get it a little bit darker with the blues. Uh, 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 uh. So I'm going to just come back in with the Misty Moonlight and see if I can get that a little bit more definite. Let's get rid of that. Now, do, this is going to sound very strange, but I'm going to say it anyway. So we have Celebration coming up and the new catalogue on the 4th of January. Um, if you are a customer of mine, you should, I have already posted out the new catalogues, so they should be winging their way to you already. Um, however, as you know, with Celebration, you get free product depending on how much you spend. If you have any of the soon to retire in color inks and you want to preserve their inkiness do remember to get the reinkers and if you get your reinkers during celebration that will help you towards a new item so just a thought right okay so let's take that off again did that do that's a bit better right okay so Let's get this off because I've got one very sweaty hand now. Right, okay, so I want some Knight of Navy. Actually, I might go Highland Heather and Knight of Navy and So Saffron and Early Espresso. So, Knight of Navy card base. 
is easy to do, or night of navy. Early espresso, card base, equally easy to do. And I will be doing some sentiments as well. So saffron and Highland Heather. Highland Heather. Oh, no, I'm going to need a new piece of Highland Heather because I do not have a large enough piece of scrap. Right, okay, so let's get rid of the inks because I don't need those cluttering the place up. And let's get cutting. So I say this often, but I think it is worth repeating. If you are making card bases, whether you're going long and long and thin or short and fat, score once, cut once. Much the quickest way of doing it. So I've got two card bases for just score once, cut once. Do make sure that you get rid of your, your cutting blade when you want to score. But other than that, so two card bases, and I want a standard size mat. I need to do a refresher of my mats because I'm all over the place with what I've got pre-cut at the moment. Oops, pieces of card flying everywhere. Right, so all the only other thing I need to do is to cut these down and I'm actually going to take an eighth of an inch off each side, so a quarter of an inch off in total. When I say that, I'm going to take the smallest little piece off there and I'm going to use my chopper for that because the, um, the image is not central. So I'm going to just trim the edge off, and there is a reason why I want to take the edge off each side, uh, and I'll come back to that in a moment. Let me just see if I need to do the same with... No, that one's okay. So... Um, right, so that needs to be there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and I need to do a tiny bit off the top there. And the reason I want to make sure I cut each edge is because the edges look different when you've cut them off. And I will show you that with this one. So this one is, is a better centralization, if that's a word. So if I cut that, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Let me see if I can see whether you can see it. Uh, just, I think. So if I bring in some white behind. So this is nice and clean. This has a dark edge to it. Um, so it's better to cut both sides so that you don't have one side that's got a dark edge and one side that hasn't. I mean, it's personal choice, but that really irritates me. Hello, Lorna. Just back from positivity. Oh, pos possibly. Positivity? My last shop in Chester. Possibly your last sh shop in Chester, probably. But I hope it's not. I hope you're not positive. Don't want people being positive for things. Right, so that's those bits trimmed down. And that's going to go on there, just to pick out that Highland Heather. That's going to go on there to pick out the So Saffron. I will be putting other bits on, but let's get those done. And what am I looking for? I'm looking for my tape runner. But I'm going to do it on here.
posit positively. Got there. Hello, Karen. So yes, we're playing with bright baubles, which sadly is not available in Europe, um, but you may have it. But really, this is around inking techniques, so the um, stamp set is less of the issue. Right, so that's those. And I'm just having a look at what I've got in the way of... Ooh, that would work. Ribbon. So I'm going to add a piece of... This is the Highland Heather Grow Grain Ribbon that's actually got a bit of a silver effect in it. Um, so it's picking up quite nicely on the silver of the bauble. Ooh, or actually, just had a thought. May not work, but I'm going to give it a try. Because this bauble is quite a way down from the top of the piece of card, I'm thinking we could add a bow. a very small top to my bow. That's better. Just cut that there. And cut this. Oh, I'm shaking like a leaf. Don't know why. Yes, like that a lot. So, glue dot. Pop that on there. Like that. Now, if you're, if you find that these lifting up annoys you as much as it annoys me, it's easily resolved by adding another glue dot or two. So one. Two. So that's that. Um, I will be adding more bits, but that's that for the moment. We don't have Calypso Coral in a ribbon, so I think that will go ribbonless. Uh, we don't have copper either. Oh, we do have an early espresso though. Right. Oh, and I've got a little bit. No, I'm going to just do a repeat performance. I've got a, a t little end. Thank you, Karen. And I kind of know what I'm going to put on that as a an embellishment. Something that I found that I'd forgotten I had. In fact, there are two things I could use, but I think I know which one I'm going to use. So, another ribbon. Now remove the piece of sticky tape at the end, or possibly not. Okay, that might determine the length of... It's going to determine the length, that's fine. I always stick the end of the last roll onto the beginning of the new roll. Yep. Uh, this is going to be easier to keep the ends down because it's a stiffer, a stiffer ribbon. It's more of a trim, really. This is the faux suede tr uh, trim. From these are both from the annual catalogue. So that's those. Right, embellishment time. Good grief, craft a mouth. Craft a mouth warning. So I could either, on the 
Highland Heather, go for the blue, um, the blue gems, or I could go for the pastel pearls that have got silver pearls on the back. So we've got pastel pearls, or, and I'm thinking the Highland Heathery ones, or blue gems. For this, I think I'm going to go champagne. If I've got any of the champagne rhinestones in here, I thought I had. I would have put, there they are. I was going to say, I would have put money on having some, so I'm going to do champagne on these. Uh, but let me know whether you would like Thank you, Wendy. So yes, do you want the blue gems or the Highland Heather pearls on this one? Uh, and while you're deciding that, I'm going to use some champagne rhinestones to add some glitz and glamour to my warm toned version. Now you see, you could go mad and have them all the way along there, but I think that might be a bit too far. I might pop them there. Or not, might not. No, I think I might just leave that as that. So that's that one. Highland Heather looks good. So Highland Heather Pearls, these ones, these ones rather. Okay, we'll go Highland Heather Pearls. So, oh, I could actually go in the blobs. Oh, yes, like that. Thank you, Wendy. That kind of works. Kind of works. Well, it would work even better if I was getting them all in a nice straight line. But who wants straight when you can have crooked? And I'm not worrying that this is an even number. There was an odd number on the um, warm version, but these I'm not thinking of as embellishments as, far, as such. <laughs> Christmas gone mad. Right, okay, so let's get rid of that and that and that, and let's pop these together. So I need one blue and one brown. So there's my brown and my blue. I'm going to go that way up. So this one is going to go on there. Get my glue. And as ever, press from the back. I did say I was going to add sentiments, didn't I? I might have lied. I might add sentiments after we've finished. I will post these on my website and on Instagram. So you can have a look at what I decide to do finally with sentiments and things. But it's coming up to 12 o'clock. And I do try and keep these to an hour max. Hello, B. So there we go. So this is our blue version. It would be even better if I had put that on straight, but that's fine. So this is our blue version. This is our browns and yellows version. So I hope you like those. Do give them a thumbs up if you do. I will try and find my mouse and um, flip the camera up. Oh, something very odd happened then. Um, there we go. And I can finish my now cold tea, uh, coffee, <coughs> and try and inhale it. Oh, oh, oh! I'm reserving some time after Christmas to make some special Christmas cards for next year. What a great idea! Browns is fine.
fine for Christmas, but I know what you mean. <clears throat> Having said that, my Christmas tree is white. Thank you, Carol. So yes, if you've enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. It would be awesome if you would like to share the video as well. Um, and, you know, if you share it on your on your um, Facebook timeline, for example, other people can see them. So yes, Merry Christmas to you all. I will be here on Thursday. It may be a shorter video on Thursday, a shorter live on Thursday, because, you know, it's nearly Christmas. Uh, but I will be here on Thursday. That's 3 p.m. UK time. Um, so that's 4 p.m. Central Central European, and I have no idea where else where it is for everyone else. Um, but thank you very much indeed for joining me. Have a fantastic Christmas if I don't see you. Nora, I got your lovely email. Thank you very much. Have fun um, playing with all your new goodies. Um, and your catalogue is on its way to you. But thank you very much indeed. Have a fantastic day, morning, afternoon, evening, whichever. And I may see you on Thursday. If not, I will see you again very soon, I hope. And have a very Merry Christmas. Keep well, keep safe. Get your vaccinations. Thank you very much and farewell. She says, trying to find the end screen. <laughs>